We continue now with art, uh, my partner's art, and uh, some of it has religious themes. In fact, this one here, which you will see, quotes from the Gospel of Matthew, and the picture uh, works with it very well, as you see. Look at that. And there's the reading from Gospel of Matthew. Take up your cross and follow me. There is a good example of the actuality of spiritual themes, which you will get in here often, as well as the rocks and the water and the swirl in the water that shows you that the water is not sitting still, but the water is actually moving, as you can see there. And some of these are very clear about that. Now, in this one here, sometimes she will do something that indicates that you are getting some of what's above the lake making shadows on the water itself or, or looking like it's a mirror. The waters look like a mirror. In this one, you can see that. Notice how the trees are mirroring on the water here and over here. Some of this is mirroring on the water too, which does happen on the surface of the water. So she will do that sometimes as well. Uh, other times, of course, that won't happen because it doesn't have much to do with that. Now this one is interesting because it has so much to do with trees, but not only that, Notice the placement of the trees. This one is different because it has a hillside where you see trees going up that way. It's almost like a entrance to a, perhaps a large mountain that isn't in there completely yet. So it, 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 again, it depends on exactly what's going on. Now, this one here is um, called be still and know that I am God from Psalm 46, verse 10. Again, Adirondack mountain scene. Notice also that little road going through there. Now this one also is a meditative uh, one because on the top, I am created from a divine pattern of perfect life. And she just calls this a mountain view, but notice what's in the mountain view. What is there? There's a little bench you can sit on and meditate and be still and let nature speak to you the way it does, which is quite, quite good. Now again, this one also is the same type of thing. It has a lake and it has trees and mountains. And again, it has a road. So sometimes a road in here gives it an interesting perspective. That road is, is very, very good. Now this one looks like a farm with a fence and a little field that they're doing some plowing or doing something with. Look at that. That must be the farm in a mountain area with a little road going by the farm, as you can see. So what we have here in Anne's art are some things that are completely unique and very special with a great variety. Even though they're the same things often, yet there is a variety in how they're done. Uh, and there are just endless examples here. For example, here are some people taking a little uh, rowing in Lake Champlain in 
South Burlington, Vermont. That's Lake Champlain. You can see across, that's toward New York State. So, we hope you have enjoyed these wonderful views of my partner Anne's art. And she loves to do it, and she'll continue to do her best. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful artistic day.